The U.S. Army is getting ready to implant a large number of troll troopers inside consistent infantry units Will's identity entrusted with directing digital fighting on the web. Military authorities say the new digital fighting unit will purposely spread falsehood and counter remote promulgation as a way to secure American interests. Right.com reports, under the new convention, the armed forces digital warriors will serve half year pivots while incorporated in infantry units. However, not at all like their rifle toting companions, the console warriors will look for control over the combat zone by non dynamic means. Not all things are assault and annihilate. How might I impact by non-active means? How might I reach up and make disarray and pick up control? Colonel Robert Ryan, who charges a Hawaii-based battle group, said on Wednesday. The digital warriors will tailor operations as per their commandant's needs, yet a standard operation would likely include trawl data assembling and blocking faux transmissions as per Colonel William Hartman of the Armed Forces Cyber Command. For as long as three years, the Armed Force has prepared digital authorities for such operations at a colossal focus in Southern California. Armed Force General Raymond A. Thomas III, head of U.S. Special Operations Command, said on Wednesday that while responsiveness has enhanced, the restricting component for America's digital fighting capacities keeps on spinning around strategy and process. Dissimilar to Russia and China, the United States is a country of laws and our procedure to affirm digital operations and itemized and protracted, the general said. Addressing the Association of the U.S. Army, Thomas contended that authorities on the ground must be given the capacity to utilize digital at the key, operational and strategic levels. Since selecting its first senior general to coordinate digital fighting in 2010, the Pentagon has progressively seen digital fighting as a vital segment of America's war battling weapons store. Digital Command had already been a subordinate piece of the U.S. Strategic Command, yet was lifted it to its own particular order in August, an indication of its developing significance. As of late, Washington has blamed Russia and China for posturing existential dangers to U.S. digital security. In May, Director of National Intelligence Dan Coates blamed Russia for being a full-scope digital performing artist that will remain a noteworthy danger to the U.S. government. Moscow, be that as it may, says it tries to disarm the Internet. Addressing RT in July, Andrei Krutskik, one of Vladimir Putin's best correspondence's tech consultants, said that the worldwide group ought to concur not to mobilize the Internet, and set some global guidelines. He included that when humankind understood the ghastliness of natural weapons, it prohibited them. We are in a similar circumstance at the present time. We ought to maintain a strategic distance from the slip-ups of the atomic age, when we initially equipped ourselves adequately to crush each other, and afterwards started to incapacitate. Then again, a gathering of NATO individuals is looking for concession to new digital fighting standards which would release confinements on utilizing hostile digital weapons. Reuters revealed in November that the United States, Britain, Germany, Norway, Spain, Denmark and the Netherlands are drafting new rules which would legitimize conveying digital weapons all the more extensively. The US, Britain, the Netherlands, Germany and France as of now have built up digital orders, 